Hey YouTube, let's get started. First, go to Edit, Preferences. Next, go to Extensions, Loop Tools, find Loop Tools and install this plugin. Now that you have Loop Tools enabled, if you have a flat surface, go to Face Selection Mode, select any amount of faces you guys actually need. So for example, if we take these many faces, go ahead and delete it, go into Edge Selection Mode, hold Alt, select the whole edge loop, right click, Loop Tools, Circle. There you go that makes a circle and then when you press e obviously you can extrude this so you can extrude it down up however you like and then if you press f you can fill it and there you go that's basically how you make circles or you make circle cuts on a flat surface now let's see the real problem of how to do it on a curved surface awesome you see that i have a cylinder here you can take any smooth surface any slopey surface anything will work once you have your surface, just take it, shift D to duplicate, and then right click to actually just bring it back in position. You can see that you have a duplicate part of your mesh, just hide it. Select the main mesh, go into edit mode. Do the same thing, go into face selection mode, select the faces you want where, or you know, where you want the circle cut to be, delete the faces. Once deleted, go into edge selection, alt, select the edge, right click, loop tools, circle, and there you go. You have your circle on your curved surface. After you have your circle, always make sure that you inset. So extrude and push it in. We do need this ring circle because this will help your topology be perfect. Remember, whenever you have a circle, it needs to have an outer ring to support the inner ring. This is called a support loop. Awesome, now that we have a support loop, let's push this in and I'm going to extrude it again, scale it to the center, extrude it again, scale it to the center, and I'm gonna fill this. Let this be an end gone, just don't worry about this. If you guys can just merge it to the center and that should be fine. So you see that we have a cutout of a circle on a curved surface. If I go into normal mode, you can see how bad it looks. So let's fix that. First, go into your face selection mode, press A, and then say select all. When you have all the faces selected, Come down here, go into data, go into vertex group, press plus, and then you see a new group created, say assign. Now what you did is took all the faces and assigned it to this group. After this, what we need to do is take all the faces of the circle and actually remove it from the group. So how do you do that? I like to select the center, this piece here, and then control plus, plus, plus on your numpad, and there you go, you have your hole selected. Once you have this selected, go into group, click on this and hit remove. Once you do this, you can now check if your group has actually removed this or not by selecting this group and hitting select here. So just click somewhere else, let everything get deselected, click your group and hit select. Ta-da, there you go. So it selects the whole thing except the one you removed. I hope that made sense. Awesome, now that you have finished your group and vertex, you know, vertex group, then just go back into object mode and now it's really simple guys select the object go into modifiers click on add modifier search for a shrink wrap modifier in the shrink wrap hit on target select the hidden cylinder and there you go it will fill your gap now i know this looks weird but remember how we had the vertex group just come to vertex group on shrink wrap and hit it to group that's the group we created and there you go awesome now that we have this just go apply this Click on your mesh, add a smooth subdivision modifier, and tell me that doesn't look beautiful. And that is how you create a circle on any curved surfaces. And check this out. If I just give it a sharpen, oh my God, get me milk. And if you actually go ahead and apply your subdivision, go into edit mode, you guys don't have to worry about topology. It's going to be perfect. I know this looks high resolution because I worked on high resolution. Make your topology low, low poly and you should still have perfect topology on your mesh right and with that that's how you make perfect circles on any smooth surface with that the video concludes i hope you guys have a beautiful day thank you so much for supporting my small channel we are growing to 10,000 subscribers and when we do it'll be my first giveaway i love you guys take care bye, -bye. signing off oh, 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 oh.